there's a curiosity and a desire to learn around being a researcher and experiencing, even if it's for 30 seconds, being the first person on the planet to figure out how something works. People in science are driven by a dream. The dream is, in almost all cases, to have a positive impact on society. The materials that are currently being used for the applications that I'm focusing on generate about 4,000 tonnes of toxic electronic waste a year. My goal would be in the next three to five years to see our materials replacing those in a lot of consumer applications. I work in the field called crystal engineering, water purification, carbon capture, cheaper and better pharmaceuticals are just three examples of where crystal engineering could be the key. And the pieces of that jigsaw puzzle are coming together now. The University of Limerick could become this test bed and this ecosystem for a sustainable society so that we can widen that out to, to take on the grand challenge. The reason it is a grand challenge is because we don't have a choice anymore. We have to, we have to do something and we have to take action. Newell really sent me down this path where I get to walk out of the research lab into the classroom and then teach students about the science that I'm doing and try to spark in them the same joy that we get when we do science 100 metres down the road in the lab. It's not just publications, it's not just molecules, it's people. And throughout my career, I've trained well over 100 undergraduates and dozens of postdocs and dozens of PhD students. And the chances that they will really solve some of the world's problems is statistically higher than I will do it on my own. It's one of the most rewarding careers you can have. Everybody who tries to push the boundaries of knowledge is always going to have a fun time.